Uh, so my name is Dr. Maggie Adairin Pocock, and I'm a space scientist and a science communicator. Uh, well, space scientist, I actually build satellites that go up in space. And science communicator, I like to try and translate some of the complexity of science into a simple format for everybody to understand. It was a job that I've always wanted, really. Uh, since I was a child of the age of six, I've wanted to get out into space. And it's getting sort of a, a harder and harder to envisage me getting out there. But I feel I'm doing the next best thing. And I'm building uh, instrumentation that goes out into space. My PhD was in mechanical engineering. But before that, I did my degree, which was in physics. And so that was quite an interesting hybrid for me, because doing the physics and the mechanical engineering turned out to be a perfect marriage for uh, making satellites in the future. When I was in primary and secondary education for a long time, um, I wasn't considered to be very bright. And so um, it was always a disappointment for me, because when I was a child, I, I got really hooked on space. And I told my school teachers, yeah, I want to be an astronaut, I want to go into space. And they sort of looked at me a little sadly and said, well, Maggie, you suffer from dyslexia. You're probably not going to be very academic at all. And uh, so that was always a disappointment. Uh, but my father was wonderful and he told me that oh, if you really work hard, you know, the sky's your limit. Because my um, English and uh, my uh, sort of spelling was, wasn't very good, it meant I focused on the science subjects and I found that I was quite logical and things like that. So um, I, I admired people like Spock on Star Trek. <laughs> and so um, by using those skills, I was able to develop sort of techniques to cope with the dyslexia and sort of move on through my career.